Senator Hawley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Abadi, let me just stay with you. You just started to answer Senator Blackburn's question that not releasing the 1023 or talking about it as a matter of life and death, question of life and death, you said. Explain. It is potentially a question of life and death for whom? with regard to the source of the information. So, okay, so now we've confirmed that the document exists. That's progress because the FBI director initially denied that it exists. Why did he do that? We, we have already and previously acknowledged the existence of the documents. Yeah, there. after you first denied it. Now, when a member of this committee read it, right, the FBI director, let's just get the record straight. The FBI director initially said it doesn't exist. Then Senator Grassley said, I've read it. Then he said, oh, okay, well, gotcha. I guess it does exist. Now you're going back and forth with members of this committee, what's in it, why do you just release it? Is it classified? The document is not classified. Okay, will you commit to releasing it? Senator, we'll take that back and we will work with you in this committee. Uh, How about just a yes or no? Will you commit to releasing this unclassified document that alleges that the President of the United States, the President of the United States has taken $5 million or more in bribes from a foreign nation? The document has already been released pursuant to a subpoena to the House Oversight Committee. Has it, it been will, released to this committee? We will work with this committee within the parameters that are established to meet Will you the release request. the document to the public? It's unclassified. Don't you think the American people have a right to see it? Uh, Senator, the document, as you know, contains sensitive information that has bearing on the life of the source of the information, potentially. You can redact the source's name. We do this all the time. In some instances, Senator, and I know you know this, that is not sufficient to protect people. And that's what we strive and work to do each and every day. And I hope you would take that seriously too. Oh, I take it very seriously. But I also take seriously the fact that your institution has repeatedly abused its authority, has repeatedly targeted political opponents. Your institution is the one that went to the door of pro-life protesters with SWAT teams to try and intimidate people because of their speech. Your institution is the one that treated parents as domestic terrorists because of their speech. Your institution is the one that, according to the court, the FISA court, ran 278,000 unwarranted, probably illegal queries on Americans, right? That was your institution, correct? There, the, with respect to the compliance incidents, yes, some of the other things you cited, we can take them one by one. They are not. Compliance, you, you would characterize the unlawful querying 278,000 times of American citizens as compliance issues? We've said before, I've said that the totally unacceptable. Who's been uh, fired for it? Individuals involved uh, are handled through the disciplinary process. Who's been fired for it? We have, there in, the, in the case of the uh, unintentional instance where something similar happened, we have fired people in the past. Wait, I, I'm sorry, what, what, what does that word salad mean? The unintentional instance where some, what, what does that mean? Who's been fired for the 278,000 times that you improperly or illegally queried the database for American citizens? When we Anybody? When we find intentional incidents. Were you saying that the 278,000 queries were unintentional? I believe that's correct. Wow, 278,000 times American citizens' information was queried by your agency unintentionally? That's your testimony? I would want to go back and check that, Senator. Uh, well, that's yes, what you just told me. My understanding is that the vast majority of Well, wait, the, that's different. You just said it was. You just said it was unintentional. Now it's the vast majority. Which is it? Do you know? I would want to go back and check it. So you don't my know. My understanding is that likely all are were unintentional likely in, all so first nature. it was all of them then it was vast majority now it's likely all. so you don't know is the answer to the question i don't know the answer as we sit here today but i will Could find have started out and with I will that get probably back to you. who was fired for the lies to the fisa court for the carter page warrant who, who who was fired for that anybody has anybody been held accountable for your institution deliberately lying to a FISA court to get a wiretap on an ongoing presidential campaign? There is an ongoing disciplinary process with respect to individuals involved in that. Here's the deal. You're back in front of us asking for the reauthorization of extraordinary authorities. 
Multiple courts have uncovered extraordinary abuses perpetrated by your agency. You are at the same time concealing information about serious allegations made against the President of the United States, even as your institution also targets his chief political opponent in an unprecedented way. Why would we ever give you the blank check that you want to continue surveilling American citizens in an improper manner? Why would we ever do that? Senator, we're here to talk about reforms today. I did get confirmation that the query... Is no, we're not. We're here to talk about the reauthorization of Section 702. Why would we reauthorize it, given your track record of abuse and illegal and proper surveillance and political targeting? Why would we do that? Why would it be appropriate for this body to do that? We've made significant reforms and implemented corrective measures. We've seen significant progress as a result of that, Senator. The... Uh, so you Queries say. that you mentioned early were, in fact, unintentional. That's what I was just told by my counterpart. That, that is an amazing. The earliest question, the earlier to, question. So your testimony is the 280,000 queries of American citizens was unintentional. That's your final answer? That's how they were assessed by that team that did the review. I'm not satisfied with that. That's yeah, why I don't believe we've that implemented further measures, as I announced earlier today. Yeah, I, I, I don't believe that at all. And frankly, we've heard from your agency a thousand times that you're going to do better, will do better. You promised after the abuses of Title I, you'd do better. And then we find out that in the meantime, you're illegal query, illegally querying 280,000 American citizens' data. It's just, it's unbelievable, frankly. Everything you say is unbelievable.